What's going on guys? Welcome back. This is Chris, your Redneck Gamer, and today we're going to be talking about some of the arcade mod up lit marquees um, and some of the issues that I had with it. Stay tuned, you're going to want to see this. What's going on guys? This is Chris. I'm back. Uh, sorry for the way I sound. I don't, I'm don't. i not feeling good. My allergies are just destroying me right now and it's horrible. But what is not horrible is I got my marquees in from ArcadeModUp.com ArcadeModUp and uh, the Turtles cab is already put together. I've already done my LED mods on it. Got them underneath the control panel and on the back and they look phenomenal. The whole cab plays phenomenal. I actually played it for the first time with four people last night, and uh, that was a lot of lot of fun. But uh, I'm gonna do a little unboxing and show y'all what's in the package. Yeah, as y'all can see, we got some damage on the box. So I hope my marquees aren't aren't you know wiped out. But this is how they sent them to you. Um, super fast shipping. I ordered these Thursday. It is now Saturday at 11:30 ish. So that's how fast they got here, guys. Literally that quick. So uh, let's go ahead and open these up and see what we got in the box. This packaging is kind of uh, wonky here. I will say that. But I had also uh, heard that from, you know, Cool Toy was saying that this wasn't packaged very, you know, nicely. Um, you know, and everybody's saying how well the uh, ArcadeFactory.com marquees are, because that's like the gold standard or whatever. Yada, yada, yada. I wanted my stuff fast here. Now I didn't want to wait a month. Um, to me, it's apples and oranges. Uh, and I, you know, like what, it's, it's packaged fairly well. I mean, <clears throat> They could have wrapped that a little bit better. I've got some scratch marks up top um, on the metal, but um, it's not like it's a, uh, I'd, I'd say it's like a rub mark, not a scratch, but you can definitely see, like if you're going to be a perfectionist, then yeah. Um, ooh. So we got a little dust on it from uh, the packaging, but there's the turtles marquee. Looks freaking awesome. Um, that's awesome. Print quality looks really nice. Um, hope y'all can see that without the glare of the, the uh, lighting in the background. But quality looks really nice. It's super thick. Um, and this should work just fine. And I paid uh, fifty. I paid fifty nine dollars for each marquee, so you know one hundred twenty bucks for both marquees. Um, there's my turtles one. <coughs> also in the box, we have power supplies and LEDs for both. Um, that's interesting. They gave you plenty of plenty plenty like that's a ridiculous amount of LEDs to light because it. it's just got to go around the cab they literally gave me that was that about that's got to be six foot at least five or six feet of LEDs um, and the wiring Y'all can see that the wiring's not that great. It looks like it's pulled out or was done in a rush. Uh, 
really don't care um, because if it needs to be fixed, something little like that, I can take care of. And if you're going to mod these cabs, chances are you've got a um, bit of handy dandy to you, you know. Uh, not really too concerned with it. Um, yeah, the arc, the LED strips that they use in the Arcade Game Factory marquees, I'm sure are nicer. But, I don't care. So we got our power supply. One pl plugs into the, uh, the board here and then uh, splits it back off to the marquee and the, the power supply for the one-up cab, which I'm sure y'all already know. Comes with a couple screws. Absolutely zero instructions on how to do any of this. So I hope you've done your homework. I'm sure they have a video out on uh, the Yub Tubs. And then as you can see, this LED is about two thirds of what that other strip was. So I don't think they measure their LEDs out. And this one was done this one's wired in a lot nicer, if you can see that. Um, no exposed wiring. That other one I'm gonna have to, looks like it got pulled on or something. It, it was, this must have been a Friday order for sure. But uh, yeah, there's enough exposed wiring on those two that they could touch. So I'm going to uh, back the screws out, shove them in there further and pull them back down so they don't short out on me. Now for the second marquee. Got my Capcom Street Fighter 2 freaking marquee and uh, pretty sure these just install it uses your factory uh, screw points and then just goes right into place. So freaking pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, this is a Gen 3 marquee so this has the three screws for the bracket for the speakers. Um, so the, the, the screw holes on this one are a little bit different than my first wave cab. So anyway, guys, let me get these uh, installed and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, guys, we're back and I've got the marquee installed. It's lit. It looks fabulous. <clears throat> With that being said, let's discuss the issues. Um... I installed the marquee and the provided LEDs that they gave me for the marquee. The way that this marquee is powered from arcademodup.com is it has this power splitter. And I know I'm doing this in a dark room because I want y'all to be able to see the marquee and you know see it in the dark. But uh, this power splitter is a problem because this might have worked on the first and second gen cabs just fine but the PCB board on these third gens is all new right so you know the LCD controller is completely new you know it's got the 3.5 millimeter audio jack for the speakers and you know I haven't seen much about it when I went to use the power supply for the arcade one up the power supply for the arcade one up goes into here and it splits it into two different places so you're supposed to plug this into the PCB freaking LCD, right? And then this goes to your LCDs or your, your LEDs to light up your marquee. So sure enough, you know, I plugged it in the marquee, the, you know, marquee lit up and uh, plugged, it, plugged it into the back of the LCD. And when I went to go turn it on, nothing happened. And I was like, well, maybe I have like a loose connection. I didn't plug it all the way in. So I undid the back of the cab and everything was plugged in right. Came back around, tried to turn on the cab again. The cab would come on, I would get the loading for a split second, and then the cab, it would pop and then go and then completely turn off. Like it was going into some sort of protect mode. And I started getting real scared and real nervous. I was like, oh, what just happened? And so I tried it again. Sure enough, loading screen would come up for a split second, and it would pop and then shut off. And then I was like, something's not right here. So I un unplugged this power supply splitter and the LEDs, and I just used the Arcade 1-Up power supply, plugged it back into the monitor. Then, then it fired up and works fine. So with that being said, 
This is something y'all need to know for these third gen marquees. They do not like the power supply being split to anything else. Nothing. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just mine. I'm not harping on Arcade Mod Up. They might not know this issue. You know, this marquee looks great. The LEDs work fine. The power, su the power supply splitter works fine. And the way I have this wired is I have this wired. I see all these green LEDs that I've already got wired to the cab. It's got a power supply that fits this power splitter. So any of the else LEDs that you order off of Amazon or anything like that, it's the same plug. So what I did was I plugged the power supply from the LEDs that I've already got on the cab into this, then went to the LED controller for the green, the multicolor RGB, and then used the other one to light up the marquee. And it works fine. So it's not a short issue of the, the splitting wire or anything like that. It's a it's a issue of power consumption and the LCD controller not liking any more power draw than what it has. So with that being said, guys, I would not advise you to use the power splitter. I would not advise, well, let me rephrase this. I would not advise you to draw to get your power for the LEDs for the marquee from anything on this one up cab. My best recommendation to y'all would be to get order some $20 LEDs off of Amazon so you can go ahead and light it up and that'll give you the power supply that you're going to need to light up your marquee and you can use the supply, the supplied splitter that the arcade mod up comes with to then light up your marquee. Again, I would not use any power source from this cab to light up the marquee because my cab didn't like it, it hated it, it wouldn't power up, it was shutting down, it was scary for about, I would say three minutes. I thought I'd burnt something up or something, something really bad had happened. So that being said, there's your initial warning. Do not use the splitter to split off the one up power supply to run any type of lighting or anything else like that. Anyway guys, I hope this video has been informative. I was going to do a time lapse video of the install. My stupid tripod messed up and I didn't catch it. So uh, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you learned something. Um, with that, peace, love, and happy gaming. Peace, I'm out guys.